forgot. <laughs> uh, uh, What's up y'all, I'm JMAX, welcome back to my channel, this is JMAX VX, and tonight I'm going to be watching requested video, Got To Be Real, finally got into this particular um, set of videos. This is, I guess the first episode was Lifetime Achievement Award Part 1, <laughs> let's see what happens. Daddy was probably the most stable man I've ever known, and I
Your Grammys ain't nothing either. You only got two of them. You only got two Grammys. You can turn those into a pair of earrings, girl. Booing. That's all I hear when you talk. I just hear booing every time. It's like, as if everything you say don't matter. As much as I'd like to talk about your hair, girl, it's beginning to annoy me. It's un-American. It's pitiful. Just pitiful. It's unnecessary. You look like everything that could ever go wrong. <laughs> but look at your face. The outfit first, but your face. <laughs> Tell you something, Patty. Your eyebrows need to be getting lifetime achievement awards. They've been through so much, girl. They have been through hell and hot water, girl. That's why they arch like that. They need to get over the rainbow, girl. I don't know what your eyebrows are doing, but they got a life and they got a mind of their own. They don't care what anybody says. Your eyebrows are just as rebellious. They are just as rebellious, girl. I see that you're mad. <laughs> I'm just mad, girl. <laughs> Yeah, um, I was at the Legends Ball, you know, Oprah's party. My eyebrows were there too, and we didn't see you anywhere. I searched various places. I thought maybe you were hiding from me because you're scared. Oh. I even asked your staff if they saw you sleeping around the kitchen, and uh, nobody saw you anywhere. I'm sorry that you weren't invited. Yeah, I was trying to be civil and congratulate you on your award, but guess what? I ain't doing it again. Second, but I'm just going to let it slide with the media said about you. Yeah, I heard you got that man beat up. Your ass needs to be going to jail, Martha Stewart. I am innocent without fault. Are you understanding that? <laughs> you don't have a damn thing to say to you. You need to mind your business better yet. Get some business to be in because I've never seen anything so sad. Just like <laughs> old mopey ass career. Get that out of here. And if you don't like the broadcast, change the station. Damn. Precisely. Let's talk about that hat we wore to the inauguration, that fake ass weight loss, the fact that Walmart, one is the only person who's selling your new CD. And in this day and age, Aretha, that's just pitiful. And don't think that you have to take any advice from me. Would it help your career? Yes, most definitely. But I want you to want it for yourself. I can't do it alone, girl. I need your help. I need your help. That's just it. I'm trying to help you be relevant, but you're going to have to want it for yourself. Just want it for yourself. I, I'm tired of being my only competition. I am the queen of soul, honey, and you are the court jester. Court jester? What? Ain't nobody the fool with you, boo boo. I'm royalty. You're not royalty, so I'm just going to call you court jester because you being a queen is just funny. Why do you have to be that way? Why do you have to be so rude to me? You think I care how this affects you? I don't give a shit. I'm at the top, and I don't give a damn what anyone says about it because they can take it and just shove it in whatever they have that is open to be received by it. You know what, I'm just gonna say this. When I get my Lifetime Achievement Award next year, you better believe I fully expect your ass to be there. And I know your ass is gonna sing for me because you respect me too damn much, girl. I recommend people listening to you to use those Beats headphones by Dr. Dre. It might help the clarity, but you still don't sound as good as me. Maybe you need to get your colons cleansed, or maybe you need to try a diet. Something to just clear those pipes. You're gonna act a fool now, Patty, but you know when I get that Lifetime Achievement Award, your ass is gonna be the one singing to me, girl. You know it. You know you're gonna be singing for me. So why are you acting brand spanking new? Why are you acting like your tag has not been pulled off of you, girl? You will sing for me, you will enjoy, and you will do it with a damn smile. You won't do it with a smile. If it's one thing I'm going to be smiling about, Aretha, it's about accepting my award so that I can laugh at you because you don't have it. Maybe you do. <laughs> Damn. Is it in your house? Uh, no, I think not. I'm pretty sure I got this award before you and for good reason, but I'm not going to say that I'm better than you. I think that my fans will take care of that business, but your relevance is drying out kind of like a California raisin. Talk to Jesus. He cares. He'll comfort you when it's time to need. Yikes. Oh. Oh. Yeesh. I think I got my good dose of shade for the whole night. I'm going to have to go pray hard because y'all done just sent me through the roof with, with shady. And it's old woman shade too. Like whoever whoever is behind this one, this is just straight up old woman shade. And it's accurate. <laughs> I've seen old women go at each other like this. And to be a fly on the wall and no conversations. 
Ayo. <laughs> um, sheesh, this is funny. This is another one I keep watching because it was a um this one and then that last one that I just watched the um the R&B thing. They're like a short series or like a short playlist of stuff. So I'll be watching that in addition to my regular parodies and legends panel um content. Oh my god, y'all. Y'all. I don't even I can't even respond to that. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Um Patty, Aretha, Tina, all of them, I definitely know who they are. Don't don't you know, don't get me for that. But they were definitely um before my time. Just before my time. Um I think they were before a lot of people's time. <laughs> And I grew up in a household where my, my family listened to a lot of everything, but we listened to a lot of alternative music growing up, jazz, and um, we, listened to a lot of, we just listened to a lot of alternative music, jazz and stuff like that. My parents put us on the 80s, like light rock and pop, anything that was clean. And um, I've talked, I've said in, in the past, I come from, you know, a variety of different backgrounds. On my dad's side, it was the hood. So we definitely got, I got exposure to more urban things in hip hop. So that was where I would hear some of this, but not a lot of it. It was more so blues or just straight up, you know, the early origins of trap and hip hop. <laughs> so um, I'm, I'm not foreign to, to the good music. It gets played at different parties that I go to, but I was not hip um, or even introduced really to Tina and Patty and Aretha and them. Um, like if it wasn't a huge hit, you know, like I'm Every Woman or, you know, some of the other stuff, I can't even name the names. I just didn't know about it. Um, but I can tell you who they are. I can hear the voices and tell you who's saying. Okay. <laughs> but this is a good one. I keep watching the old lady shade is always funny. Are like, y'all's grandmas like that? I got a grandma that's like this. Um, I got one that's like this. Her, her sisters, my great aunties and stuff on one side, they will roast the fuck out of each other. And it is so funny just to sit there and drink with them and watch them do that shit. So <laughs> let me know your thoughts about this one below. Comment, like, subscribe. Until next time. Peace.